mind constitutes an important part of our body. Its proper functioning is important for survival. The mind is also referred to as the set of various cognitive functions such as perception, thinking, consciousness, language, memory and judgment. Mainly, the mind is responsible for carrying out the processes of thought formation and consciousness. It withholds within itself the power of appreciation, imagination and recognition and enables the human being to feel and process emotions which defines the person's actions, attitude and nature. The state of the mind can be very well explained through the concept of mental health. It is defined as the state of well-being in which the person realizes his or her own potential, is able to deal properly with the stresses of life, is able to work productively and fruitfully, and is able to make effective contributions to his or her community. The mental health considers the emotional, psychological and social well-being of an individual. It greatly influences an individual's process of thinking, feeling and the way he or she acts in its surrounding. It also focuses on studying an individual's way of handling stresses, making choices and relating to others. The factors responsible for causing mental health problems are biological factors, genes or brain chemistry, life experiences, trauma, accident or abuse, and family history of mental problems. The mental problems are not caused abruptly. There are many signs and symptoms that an individual begins to show which can be considered as an early symptom of the problem. Proper health facilities and medications are provided to people suffering from mental health problems. The feelings and behaviours that can be an early sign of a problem are First, having low or no energy. Second, thinking of harming yourself or others. Third, inability to perform daily tasks of life, taking care of kids or getting to work or school. Fourth, hearing voices or believing on untrue things. Fifth, yelling and fighting with friends and family. Sixth, drinking, smoking or using drugs more than usual. Seventh, experiencing mood swings that bring problems in relationships. Eighth, feeling usually confused, on edge, forgetful, angry, worried, upset or scared. Ninth, feeling hopeless or helpless. Tenth, having unexplained aches or pains. Eleventh, feeling numb or like nothing matters. Twelfth, pulling away from people or social activities. Thirteenth, eating or sleeping too much or too little. For one to function properly, it is important that he or she is able to maintain a positive mental health. This can be done in various ways, like first, by staying positive, second, by being physically active, third, by getting enough sleep. Fourth, by developing coping skills. Fifth, by helping others. Sixth, by getting professional help if required. The people having good mental health condition will be able to do their jobs and duties properly, will be able to work according to their fullest potential. His or her way of handling and coping with stress will be better and they will also be able to make meaningful contributions to their communities and to the societies they live in. The study of the relation of mind to that with the brain has always been a complicated one. Many theories and studies have been idealized for the same. The older studies have contemplated the concept of dualism and idealism according to which the mind was considered to be non-physical. The modern studies, on the other hand, lay importance over the concept of physicalism and functionalism according to which the mind is considered to be roughly identical with the brain or is considered to be a physical phenomenon like neuronal activity philosophically. Another area of concern that has come into view of many scientists and neurologists of the time and is assessing it to find relatable answers is the type of human beings that are capable of possessing mind, 
that is to find whether the possession of mind is exclusive to humans or can be possessed by other and all living beings or not. It is the presence of mind that causes one to have subjective awareness and intentionality towards the surrounding environment. It gives one the ability to perceive and respond to the stimuli present within the environment through the means of some kind of agency. Living beings with a mind are conscious of their environment and are capable of thinking and feeling. Different culture and traditions perceive the meaning of mind differently. In some cultures, the mind is perceived as an entity that has been developed exclusively for the human beings, while the other notion states that the properties of the mind are ascribed to non-living entities like animism and panpsychism, to animals and to deities. There existed some other theories as well that linked mind to live after death and ascertained cosmological and natural order reasons to the existence of mind. Some of the philosophers that carried out the study of the mind and devised theories based on mind were Descartes, Plato, Berkeley, Kant, Hume, Hegel, Locke, Leibniz, Dennett, Foda, Searle, Nagel, Kalmers, and Schopenhauer. Some, like psychologist Sigmund Freud and James, along with computer scientists such as Turing and Putnam, also made a significant contribution and devised theories towards the study of nature of mind. The field of artificial intelligence explains the existence of non-biological minds in the world, which works in close proximity to the fields of cybernetics and information theory. They carry out the study of the process of information processing by the non-biological machines and compares it with the mental phenomenon of the human mind. The mind constitutes a very important part of the human anatomy. The decision-making process or the emotions that a person feels or the actions of the body or feeling conscious and subconscious state or the essential impressions that the person feels and several other functions that a human being is capable of performing is all because of the mind. 